Hey there people, it's Simon for Danny. So I wanted to show you a very natural, effective way to resolve insomnia issues. And that is with niacin, also known as vitamin B3. And this is a supplement that has been extensively used since around the 1950s. And Dr. Abraham Hoffer used it for well over 50 years with so many patients and he was getting absolutely amazing results with resolving insomnia and loads of other mental and physical health issues with this. And yeah, this is something that is not widely known by a lot of people because the allopathic medicine system do not talk about this. The reason being is, is because it is so effective. And something that's very effective for solving health issues makes them lose money because then they cannot sell you loads of synthetic pharmaceuticals that are causing a lot of side effects. It causes a lot of people deaths as well. And yeah, it's just not good for you whatsoever. It's not actually curing the root cause of the issue, but the vitamin B3 is. And the reason why it's so effective, a lot of people are either vitamin B3 deficient or they are dependent. So someone who's deficient is low in vitamin B3 and someone who's dependent needs a lot more than someone who is deficient. So yeah, if you're dependent, you will need a lot more of the supplement, basically. And the reason why it works so well, as well, for insomnia is not just due to it correcting a deficiency and just giving you the benefits from the supplement because it has specific benefits when taken. It's also due to the fact that basically the body, when you have not got enough vitamin B3 within your body to meet the body's needs and the mind's needs to function optimally for you, is it will start to use the amino acid known as tryptophan. And tryptophan is the precursor to the neurotransmitter known as serotonin. And this neurotransmitter is key for sleep, so resolving insomnia, because what happens is this then turns into the hormone known as melatonin. And melatonin is a hormone within the body that is key for making you feel tired when leading up to bed, to also give you very deep sleep and just to improve your sleep overall. So if you're not producing enough of this, which most people are not, then good luck trying to sleep. And I will mention as well, there are other things that stop melatonin production as well, which is blue lights from digital screens. So you wanna be using a program such as Flux that will basically change to your time zone of your country and it will change the color of your screen when the sun starts to set. So then your body can still release melatonin. So that's something that I need to mention briefly because that's a main contributing factor as well. And also this neurotransmitter is key for feeling happy and just really good overall with your mood and just makes you feel very upbeat and it has loads of benefits as well. So this is why it's good for so many mental health conditions. And uh, this is basically what is released when people take MDMA known as ecstasy. And it makes you feel all loved up and happy. <laughs> so yeah, but that has loads of negative side effects afterwards. And yeah, it's not that great for your body. And I also want to read a study to you done by the Journal Clinic Sleep of Medicine. So basically what they found is in a controlled study done in 2015, the authors found that a nicotinamide supplement form of niacin given in escalating doses for 21 days to non-sleep disturbed studies subjects increased REM sleep and insomnia diagnosed subjects given the same dosing protocol also experienced increased sleep efficiency. So that's a really interesting study and I thought I'd mention that to you because some people want some scientific evidence so there it is there for you. And I also want to mention there's two forms of niacin, you've got non-flush niacin and flushing niacin. So yeah, as the non-flush one says, it will give you no flush. And basically, the normal niacin, which I prefer, gives you what is known as a flushing effect. So when you take it soon after, your skin will start to go red, you will feel hot, but it's not painful, it doesn't hurt your skin or anything, but some people, they just don't like it or they find it discomforting. So yeah, if you don't wanna have that, then I do recommend the non-flush one. And what we'll do is down in the description, I'll put a link for two products that I recommend. 
on Amazon for non-flash niacin and niacin as well because people always ask me when I make these niacin videos. So yeah, just look down below in the description and you can find them. And yeah, if you'd like to see what a flash looks like with me explaining in the moment, check out a video link down below. I posted it recently showing me having a very intense flush. And for me, I absolutely love the flush effect. It makes me feel amazing. And something else I need to mention as well, what I have personally noticed with taking niacin over the years is, the reason why I also feel it's brilliant for sleep is it seems to send you from the sympathetic nervous system, which is like the stimulated side of the nervous system, into the parasympathetic side of the nervous system, which is where the nervous system is in the calm side. And most people in the stimulated go, 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 sympathetic nervous system, so this is really gonna get you switched over to the other side. It's gonna make you feel a lot calmer. And one last thing I needed to mention was the dosages. So it's gonna vary from person to person. Some people need 50 milligrams, some people need 100 milligrams, some people need a 500 milligrams, some people need 1,000 milligrams or so. So yeah, it's really hard to know how much you're gonna need, but I do recommend that most people start from around 50 to 100 milligrams. But if you're suffering with a lot of mental health conditions or serious insomnia, then you will need a lot more than other people. But it's the bit, but it's better to start off lower if you're taking the flushing type of niacin because if you take too much too quickly, you will flush really, really hard and for very, very long. And a lot of people are not going to like that at all. And that's a sign that you have taken too much too quickly. So yeah, a good way to see if it's working or not is when you take it, you start to notice benefits from it. And if you're taking the flushing form, you get a flush and it doesn't last too long. And then when you continue to start taking it, it will start to not flush anymore. So that's when you need to increase your dosage. And you can increase your dosage, say you're taking 50 milligrams, you can increase it anywhere by like double of the amount you were currently taking before, or even like 10 milligrams or 20 milligrams. So yeah, again, that's gonna vary. So it's trying to find out what is the sweet spot for you to get the benefits for taking it with insomnia? And you can research online for a website called doctoryourself.com and it's got more information on there on this subject. And yeah, if you need to ask me what the right dose may be for you, then just ask me down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and help you in the best way that I possibly can. So all those different reasons for nicely and working for insomnia it's just absolutely amazing. It's gonna work better than any sleep aid out there because the sleep aids are giving you negative effects and they are very, very addictive and they have a lot of negative consequences whether people are aware of them short term and long term. So yeah, you don't really wanna be taking them at all. And they can be a lot more expensive than Nicene. Nicene is very, very cheap. So it's easily accessible to anyone, no matter if you're making a lot of money or not. So yeah, if you have any questions on this subject, please leave them down below. I love answering your questions as always. And yeah, please share this with anyone that you think might find this information valuable. It may help them resolve their insomnia, like it has done for many people that I've got to use niacin around the world that I've coached and helped. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button down below to receive more videos from me on a regular basis talking about niacin, supplementation, healthy living, veganism, detoxification, and so many more things I've used myself over the years to transform my life and my health and just achieve the highest state of health holistically and help so many other people around the world do the same also. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a happy, healthy day. Bye.